The life sciences are among the most exciting fields of research today, impacting all other disciplines. The Lori Loki Center for Life Sciences and Engineering is a whole new approach to research and education. The Loki Center was founded at Technion in 2006. The vision of its founder, Nobel laureate Aaron Chekhanovel, was to take advantage of the unique environment of the Technion, a top engineering school with life science faculties, a medical school, all located in a vibrant high-tech city. At the Technion Loki Center, we have researchers from across the faculties, biology, chemistry, physics, engineering, and medicine. The incredible labs and facilities you find here are the platform for this multidisciplinary cooperation. The center was founded following a monumental gift by Lowell Locay. The main focus of the center is to nurture convergent science that integrates life sciences and medicine together with disciplines from engineering and the exact sciences. The Locay Center revolutionized in a very short period of time the way life sciences are conducted at the Technion. By tracking top-notch scientists and providing them with state-of-the-art facilities, we will be able to be a leading part of this new revolution in the life sciences. Professor Amit Meller is a new star at the Loki Center. His research spans biology, physics, and engineering. His team is trying to put together a desktop device that can sequence an entire genome in just one quarter of an hour. Here in this laboratory, we are developing new tools for analyzing individual molecules of DNA from our cells. And that would allow us to learn something about each and everyone's genomes. Presently, if you want to read or to sequence a human genome, it takes you about two weeks. We would like to shorten this time from a couple of weeks to a couple of minutes, such that doctors will be able almost instantly read the information of our genome. This will allow them to better prescribe drugs because drugs will no longer be generic. They will be tailored to fit each and every needs. In my group, uh, we study nanotechnology and advanced optical technologies, and we combine them to treat cancer. We target cells with very high accuracy using nanoparticles made of gold and very short laser pulses. The effect, the interaction between the gold nanoparticles and the laser cause tiny shock waves or explosions that can manipulate or damage the cancer cells. Thanks to the initial funding from the Locay Center, we are also studying techniques for optical non-invasive or minimally invasive diagnosis. We make tiny hair-thin endoscopes that can get anywhere in the body. We have also recently invented a, a tiny microscope that can see blood cells as they flow in patients. And we are now planning on developing that into a commercial product. One exciting new low-key venture is the Technion Center for Structure Biology. Here, Dr. Akram Elian and his lab will be identifying the precise molecular strategies for combating diseases such as AIDS using X-ray crystallography. I investigate the HIV virus, the causative agent of AIDS. Uh, our goal is to develop new drugs to inhibit uh, the virus replication to treat and prevent the infection. We use X-ray crystallography in order to understand the molecular mechanism of the HIV proteins and the molecular mechanisms of the drug action and the emergent resistance of the virus. This investment of Mr. Lucky allowed us to purchase the state-of-the-art robotics and X-ray beam that is unique in the Middle East. We hope that by our research, we'll develop new drugs that will help populations around the world. At Loki, we approach life from all directions. Sometimes that means looking at complete systems to see how all the elements interact. At the laboratory for network biology research, scientists from the faculties of physics, medicine, electrical and chemical biology pool together resources to unveil the theory and practice of biological networks. The general mission of the Lori Loki was to bridge and merge together 
aspects of life science and engineering and the physical sciences. And that's a puzzle, it has a lot of pieces, it has a lot of aspects to it. Our piece of the puzzle comes in from the aspect of basic science. For example, our most recent project considered populations of cells. All of the cells in this population had exactly the same genes, the same DNA. However, if we make an experiment and we measure their properties, it turns out that every cell is very different from the other one, despite the fact that they all have the same DNA. It has also implications in other fields of science, such as medicine. For example, if you apply a drug tumor or a collection of cells, some of them will respond and some of them will not respond. This is known. And the reason why some of them will respond better than others has to do with the fact that each of them has an individuality, an individual behavior. A good worker needs the right tools. At the Loki Infrastructure Unit, highly trained scientists, led by Dr. Mayan Dufshani Eshet, offer expert services to researchers and industry, operating sophisticated microscopes, flow cytometers, and high throughput sequencers. Our infrastructure unit is very special since we hold here only the cutting edge equipment only the high end, the new instrumentation that, that comes out. So we always try to keep up to date in the front line of the technology and science to be able to give our researcher here the most advanced technology. For the first human genome, it took 15 years to sequence the whole genome. And now we can do that here in a matter of days. That is why researchers from all Israel Academy and industry come here to get our service. That Loki is not just a collection of labs forming an interdisciplinary center. Each lab in itself is an interdisciplinary center. For example, in our lab, we have an integration of evolution, of genomics, and of development. In my lab, we study how the organism builds itself throughout its development and the rules by which this entire process changes in evolution. The hope is that if we see how evolution has reprogrammed the process of development, we'll then be able to do it ourselves. For example, if we lose a part of a finger, it's really frustrating that our finger was built by our body at some point. Why can't we just turn on the same network again and have it regenerate? Evolution can do it, other organisms can do it throughout evolution. So what we're trying to do is understand the rules by which we can do it ourselves. I would finally like to thank Lowy Locate, all our friends and supporters that allowed us to maintain and build this beautiful center. And hopefully we will be able to keep up the excellent research and activity that is going on in this center in the following years. This is the way scientific research should be done. The work we're doing today at the Loki Center will make a profound positive impact on our world tomorrow. We invite you to see for yourself how it all comes to life.